This is Eric Pan. I'm the CEO of CD Studio. It's my pleasure to join the virtual event today, and uh, uh, I'm going to share what we have been doing with uh, NVIDIA, and uh, happy to build more synergies with the ecosystem. So we truly we are doing hardware. We truly believe that Edge AI will uh, bring more devices that really can make the real world different. So our mission from 2008 is to bring more open source technology for everyone. We work very closely with tech providers to integrate their offerings into open source modules so people can easily to build their prototypes. And we also work with the supply chain. We are based in Shenzhen in China to, uh, to wrap up their, their creations from the first engineering sample to mass productions. And uh, we are very deeply rooted in the community from the maker movement to the uh, hardware at the IoT developers. So we are also offering more uh, configurable solutions so people can just use them very quickly to upgrade their traditional industries they are looking at. Our wish is to become the hardware platform trusted by the most people for, high, for devices. So for the 12 years in business, we have been providing over 2,000 kinds of uh, open source hardware. In last year, we shipped more than 2 million pieces to more than 180 countries. And we helped thousands of customers to build their uh, engineering, engineering sample and small benches every month. And uh, we, for the last three years, we also did a lot of uh, AI and IoT enabled devices. We closely work with the researcher and uh, startups to bring their projects into commercialized project. And uh, because for IoT is quite complex, uh, we, we are offering a structured uh, uh, system all the way from uh, the software cloud to hardware to communications. We work with the first tier companies, including NVIDIA, but many other top players. So, about three years ago, we, we talked with NVIDIA about just Nano, and we are super excited because it's bringing new AI uh, to the vast community. And uh, it's uh, like providing a new element they can recook what they have been passionate about. So looking back um, for the, on the community page, you can find a lot of projects is, it's not about you sitting back in your office room to build some uh, prototypes. It's about how you really bring AI to the real life manners. So we see people using AI for agriculture. We see people doing it for energy prediction and also for self-driving for education. I think a lot of possibilities are being unleashed along the way. And uh, these projects will inspire more people to create their own possibility. And what we can do first is we provide people with more sensors because we have hundreds of different modular sensors. Even for non-engineers, they can use them very quickly. Um, the, the, reason, the benefit is that people can get more data from the proximity of the project. It's a new source of dynamic live data. It's a, you can tag them easily by uh, correlation of different sensor types, and then you can also link the facts with the sensor with the data uh, very conveniently. So we see people, um, they sometimes they use the, the sensor to tag their video information to, to reinforce their machine learnings so they can reduce the data sets and uh, to autocorrelate them with the results. For example, we see uh, this is Benjamin, um, a very, very star user from the community. He wants to tell from different alcohols through sensors. So instead of tanking or like a, um, systematically measure them, he just used a multi-channel gas sensor and uh, hook it up with a, a very tiny uh, neural network and train it with different alcohols. So by through this parametric matching, he now can tell from different alcohol and also to smell the different uh, types of coffee. So I think this is a beginning. If you combine this uh, real life sensor uh, hybridations with your video, with your applications, it can bring uh, new elements for us to, to create amazing AI projects. 
And also since the, the, the JSON Nano series is very close to the, the user, um, we are seeing a lot of people to use the edge computing for natural user uh, interactions. So we provided two mic uh, and many uh, voice interaction add-ons. So you can just slap uh, a waterboard to JSON Nano and to tell from a different uh, uh, either it's for voice interaction or to tell more information from the sound. And also, uh, upon the publishing of JSON Nano, we see the JetBot and the city has our own version. And uh, we very actively participate in the DIY broadcast. We build one in, we build a similar um, thing in Shenzhen to enable more AI experts, enthusiasts to join the, the journey. And I think that's the best closed loop uh, autonomous system you can build with uh, such a small form factor. And it's open that people are creating different versions, different derivatives out of AI. And we see people asking for more computation power because JSON Nano or NX, it's, uh, it's kind of in the between, between the traditional AI server, uh, a powerful PC, and the the tiny device that can embed into systems. So people asking if they, if we can provide some clusters. So we build the cluster. Uh, with just mate, you can have four zones on into the, the same system, but still maintain the small factors. It's uh, still a palm-sized device, and you can put on your desktop, and you can embed it into your applications. So this one is going to be shipping very soon. And uh, we are not just providing um, dev boards. People come back to us asking for customization or design support. Like, for example, this is a, a fleet control uh, company. They want to help people to manage their fleet of uh, vehicles. One of the key issues is the drivers get fatigued after the long distances. So we help them to customize their carrier board to have LTE, to have GPS on board, and uh, have some uh, simple user interactions. So the drivers will get notified if they, they have been driving with some symptoms or failure, and the managers will see the, the situation alert in real time. So this is just uh, one of the cases. I think in the long run, there's going to be a lot of uh, people using JSON Nano and come back with the real commercial needs, and uh, uh, we wish we are very proud to support them. And uh, looking beyond, we see the new frontier of IT industry is going deeper into different scenarios. Such so we need uh, a detail deeper. Uh, we need a lot of more devices to really carry the computing, sensing, and machine learnings into the object itself. We are building more field-ready industrial IoT solutions, so you can get the critical data much easier than ever before in uh, non-lasting, the, in the most extreme scenarios. And also, whenever you have the AI machineries, um, you can find a, easy, find a uh, reliable way to deploy them in the most harsh environment. We hope that by doing this, we can enable more uh, AI projects in real life and we are keep adding more sensors. We have uh, more, we are going to have more than 50 different sensors in this year. And please let us know if there is anything, any data which meaning, which is critical and meaningful. And uh, we want to help you to get them. And also, uh, we follow the trend led by NVIDIA, going from data centers to age. And, uh, we feel that between the traditional server and uh, the JSON Nano, there should be something in between that uh, you can really deploy the computation power in the age, but still benefit from all the uh, compact and cost efficiency. So we are in thinking this a lot. Uh, on top of JSON Mate, we are building a new system called ReServer. We are going to be launching it in one month. So this is uh, the first, uh, or how to say, beta discussion with your customers for you. Um, the key is that we want to do, we want to combine the cluster of uh, AI computing in a small form factor, and we do the thermal management, and uh, we manage all the hassles to really bring it into a device instead of dev boards, and uh, we will 
prepared with communi enough communication capability from 4G to 5G and uh, even to cover a neural network. So we hope this could be a perfect uh, project server for small and medium-sized business, but also for a lot of uh, IoT AI hybrid solutions. So we're looking back to the community page. We found a lot of interesting projects, like people use uh, ultrasonic to classify different projects, different objects, and people use uh, JSON Nano to predict uh, energy use, and the people use GNN to tune their music instruments. So we see a few piloting AI experts are building their their uh, new solutions. But we feel that some of the solutions should be turned into some device, even for like beginners or non-engineers can really benefit from AI by just buying the device. So you, in, I, we hope that in the future, you can upgrade your everyday projects or your traditional industries with uh, this new device. They are AI enabled. They are created by, from the community, but for the rest of us. So we will be very proudly support by providing agile manufacturer capabilities. Either you are starting from GNS Nano to customize a carrier board, or you are starting with a server to customize the enclosures for uh, different uh, scenarios. We would like to support, and because we have uh, we are basing on the open source. Um, methodology and we are using a lot of the established uh, uh, tech ecosystems. We can help people to build their EVT, their engineering samples uh, into small batch very quickly. And whenever it goes larger, we will have the best in class engineering uh, staff and uh, quality management systems to bring it into really popular projects. So I believe uh, we have a lot of shared purpose in bringing the latest AGAI into the world. And the city is a hardware incubation platform. We are looking forward to collaborate with you for more ideas and real projects. So feel free to write me your in email or follow us on LinkedIn. We are looking forward to hear your feedback or inputs. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.